Can we just start with a non-Brighton story? Uh, Leeds United's promotion to the Premier League last night and Ben White obviously a, a big part of that. There's a massive clamour obviously now for Ben White to stay at Leeds. What would you say as Brighton manager about that? That he's contracted with us and he's on loan at Leeds. <laughs> so you see him as a part of your plans for next season then? Absolutely, yeah. yeah he's, our, he's our player. He's fantastic. He's had this... This year with Leeds, um, I think everybody won in terms of Ben got some great experience. Leeds achieved their goal of promotion, um, but we're you know we we, we rate him highly. Um, I followed his career personally from when he was at Newport and <clears throat> then Peterborough, and as I said before, we were aware of him when at Swansea. We were probably trying to sign him ourselves if we were still there, so we like him a lot. He's a really good player. Um, and thankfully, he's our player. When are you expecting him back at uh, Lansing, Graham? Well, it'll be uh, pre-season um, when the when the rest of the guys report back. Um, if he does come back, though, I mean, obviously, what are, what are the chances of him getting into your Brighton first team next season? Oh, he's, he's a good player. He'll be competing with the place for everybody, like everybody else. Okay, on to Brighton then. Um, any fresh uh, injury news for this game on Monday with Newcastle? Because Newcastle's <laughs> saying they're down to the bare bones. Uh, what about you guys, uh, Graham? Um, we just had uh, Adam Webster was a bit sore after the game. He's got a, a contact on his hip. So he's still a bit sore. We just need to see how that settles down. Hopefully um, for the game, he'll, he'll be okay. Um, Ali Razor just missed the game. He had a tightness in his hamstring, but he's training today, so he should be available. Everybody else, as far as I'm aware, um, is, uh, is fine to go. How do you view this match, uh, Graham? I mean, mathematically, you can still be caught, but effectively, is the pressure off now? No, the pressure's not off um, because it's put on yourself internally. Um, I think that's the most, the most important pressure you can put on yourself. Don't listen to what you guys say, to be honest, because we always try and create pressure regardless. But the, ourselves, we know we're in, the, we're in the fight. We know we want to get points. We've got six, games to go, uh, six points to play for, sorry. Thankfully, we haven't got six day, games to go. Um, two games to go, six points to play for. And... Um, we want to try and get as many points as we can. So you're not playing for just a point then on Monday? Well, I don't think you can have that mentality. I, I think um, it's a dangerous one. I think you've got to, in the Premier League, you've got to try and, try and win the match. Uh, you see the games, you see everybody's, everybody's fighting for those wins. Um, and, and, and then at the same time, if, if you end up with a point, you end up with a point like we did last, uh, in our last match against Southampton, we tried to win the game. And in the end, um, a point's a good point for us. And that's the nature of the Premier League. Um, just finally from me, um, Graham, this is your last match, obviously, with no fans this season at the Amex, but there could be fans at the Amex in October. How, uh, how good news would that be for you? Oh, that would be great, yeah. I mean, I think great for football, great for the nation in terms of it means that things are getting back to normal and we can um, you know, progress our society, so that'd be good. But obviously we have to do it when it's right for, for, for everyone and when, when we get the go-ahead, we'll be, we'll be delighted with that. Thanks so much. Cheers. Thanks, Jez. Uh, Mandy, you're up next. Morning, Graham. Morning. Morning. I'm just wondering, uh, just speaking about the, the lack of fans at the moment, you've lost your last three home games, unbeaten and six away from home. Has that changed the dynamic at all of how things feel home and away at the moment? I think the dynamic has changed. I mean, the, the, the last three matches at home, we've played Manchester United, Manchester City and Liverpool. So if you, if you, if there is a, a game where you want um, the, the games where you want your supporters with you, it's those games because supporters in those games generally stay with you a little bit more. They forgive errors a bit more. They forgive your you know your mistakes a bit more uh, because they understand that you're the underdog. Um, but some games at home, they're, they're less forgiving and it becomes a bit more nervy and a bit more anxious. So um, I think those three games we've we've certainly missed our supporters and then. On the flip side, yeah, you go away from home, it's not quite as hostile um, and you benefit from that as an away team. You mentioned the words nervy and, and anxious there. I'm sure the fans will be feeling that. What about yourself and the players? Are you feeling confident and positive going into the last two? Yeah, we are. I mean, um, we've been in this, in this situation for a long time um, and we, we understand the, the fight that we've had to go through the work that we've done to, to get to this point at the start of lockdown. I think we were two points above. And um, certainly if you looked at our games and I'm sure the experts out there would have said, well, they're 
hard to pick up points, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but we've done quite well. Um, not perfectly, of course, but we've done quite well in terms of we've extended our lead, and now we're at a point where one more result gets us over the line, which is um, which would be a fantastic achievement for us. Thirty-seven points so far. We want to try and get as close to forty-three as we can. With six points to play for. That's going to be the aim. And just finally, from me, how impressed have you been with the job that Steve Bruce has done at Newcastle? Because I think a lot of people, perhaps, it's fair to say, underestimate him at times. No, I think that's I think that's true. I think um, I think he's an amazing job when you consider the probably the bit of negativity that was surrounded it to start with, and then a lot of the off the pitch um, noise, shall we say, that that doesn't help. But uh, in terms of results, it's, you know, he's clear of anything. Um, assembled a, a team with some real attacking threats there, defensively organised. So I think he's done a great job. Um, a really, really experienced guy. Um, top football person. Uh, whenever I come across his teams, I respect the teams a lot. So yeah, I think he's done really well. Brilliant. Thanks, Graham. Cheers. Thank you, Mandy. Uh, Johnny, let me go for it. Hi, Graham. Um, just on Matty Ryan, everyone was talking about that wonderful save he made the other night. Um, what about his overall con- contribution this season? He's played in every single Premier League game for you. Sometimes goalkeepers is a bit of a thankless task because you get highlighted when things go wrong. But what do you make of what he's done for you this season? No, I think he's been really good um, on and off the pitch. He's been um, he's been there for us. Does his best. Fights for you. Um, tries his best to do what he what what we're asking him to do. Um, I think I'm just so proud of him this week in terms of how he responded to a disappointing night for us all. Um, and, and because of the type of person he is, he takes things personally. It hurts him when he's when he has a game where he's not quite so happy. And um, and the way he responded was was just 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 to show what type of professional and person he is. Um, and then it's nice for him that he pulls off a save like he like he did to, to really contribute to us getting the points. Just on another player, Ezekiel Scalotto is quoted uh, on the continent as decided to leave the club and he's looking at options in Italy. Um, can we assume that he won't be playing for the Albion again? Yes, that's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, that's all decided and done and dusted. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we made that decision. I mean, it's probably be- it was best for him, best for us. You know, we've got Tariq, we've got Mo- um, Monty. So we're well covered in that area and it was the right thing for, for us and for him to sort of make that decision a little bit um, before we had to. Uh, just because, yeah, um, we had enough options and, and then it gives him, gives him time to, to sort his future out. Brilliant. And just um, on the end of the season, two more games to go. It's a relatively short turnaround for next season. Do you sort of buy into the thought that it's good to have a good end of this season as a foundation for, for the next campaign or do you not see it like that? I think it'd be nice to have, we want to finish strongly for ourselves for now. Um, and I think you have to sit down at the end of the season, analyse everything. And then, um, you know, we, I don't think we need a break, need to clear the head because it's been a long, a long season with lots going on. And, um, and, and then, and then start again. I don't think it's so, so important in terms of, how the, the the last two games go, but of course everybody would like to finish as well, you know, strongly as they can. Mm. Um, I think it's about three weeks sort of break, and then another four weeks of training, and then we start up again. So you're right; it, it does turn around quickly. But we're just focused now on 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 finishing the season, um, getting the two games done, getting the points we need, um, playing for us, playing for those six those six points. <laughs> 